everyone today I wanted to do a Dollar Tree haul um, before I start I just wanted to take a moment to thank everyone for all of the comments I received on the video I made um, telling you guys about my mother and it it helped me so much being able to read your comments and it's still incredibly hard for me and I have that to go back to and read whenever I'm feeling like incredibly depressed and it's really helping me so I just wanted to thank everyone for you know the um, kind comments and that you guys um, had wrote on that video particularly um, but yeah I just wanted to say thank you and I'm going to do my Dollar Tree haul now. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree on Saturday. Um, first time I'm going to the Dollar Tree without my mother. Um, Saturdays after yard sales, it was always like customary that we would go to the Dollar Tree because she loved going to the Dollar Tree as much as I did. Um, but I went with my father and he... He came inside and he got a couple of things, but then he had to go back out to the car. Like, I think it was just reminding him too much of her being in there because it, you know, was our first time there without her. Um, but I did go and I found a couple of things. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, I specifically went to look for these, um, sassy and chic fashion nails. These are just the um, fake nails. I did not realize that it didn't include glue so I'm gonna have to go back and buy some glue uh, because I don't have any nail glue. But I got these ones and I don't think they have like a style name or anything but they're just this really bright colored leopard cheetah type print and then they have like just different colored like accent nails. So I thought those were really pretty and I heard good things about these so I decided I would try them out. So I got that one. Um, I also got this set here and these ones are just kind of like a, these ones are like a zigzaggy kind of just stripey print. Again, really bright and colorful so got those and then the other pair I got and they had other ones but these are the three that I just chose these ones are little they're kind of like a mint green color with pink flamingos I thought they were super cute so I got those as well so I got them um just randomly I got a new toothbrush. This one is just a Reach brand um, with a pink handle. So I just got that because I needed a new toothbrush. Not super fun. Um, I'm going to be having another yard sale here soon so I got a pack of the garage sale labels. You get 420 labels in here and they have different ones like a dollar, 75 cents, 25 cents, 10 cents, quarter, um, make offer and then there's like blank ones up in here that you can write you know your own price on these I don't feel like stick real well but I like how neat they are instead of writing on ones I don't have the best handwriting and then when I do and I'm using like a, a pen where like the ink runs then I'm smearing it and smudging it and it's just it's not good so I just bought a pack of stickers to use. Um, I got this Blistex Orange Mango Blast Lip Balm. Um, whenever I would go to Dollar Tree, they'd have this display. It was like a cardboard display that was typically hanging up and it would always be empty. But I finally found some, so I was like, I'm probably not going to find these again, so I just picked it up. Um, Anytime you get like lip balms and stuff at Dollar Tree, just always check the um, expiration date on them just to make sure that they're not expired. This The SPF in this doesn't expire until 2017, so it's definitely still good for quite a while. 
sorry I'm off camera right now sniffing this. This smells really, really, really good. It's very tropical. I like that a lot. So that's Orange Mango Blast. That's what the tube looks like. Okay. I know I'm going to like that. Oops. I found a whole bunch of different um, packaging tape, the duct tape brand. So the only one that I really liked was this one. It has kind of like almost a zebra print type heart. And you get a decent sized um, roll for a buck. So I got this one. And they had different styles, but this was the only one that I really liked. So I got that. Um, I got a pack of this Vigo yellow saffron rice. This stuff's really good. Um, last time I was at the grocery store, my boyfriend picked a pack up um, to buy and it was like a dollar and some change. Um, I think this was at Walmart. And I was like, no, 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 put that back. I said, they sell that at Dollar Tree. I'll get a pack next time I go. <laughs> so, granted, it was only like a couple cents more at Walmart, but it's only a dollar at Dollar Tree, and I think it's even less at Big Lots. I have seen it at Big Lots, and I think it's only like maybe 80 cents. I could be wrong, but I think it's less than a dollar. Um, and these are good until 2017, so, and they're really good. It's a great just side with, you know, whatever you're having. He likes to make it as a side for his lunches, but we have made it as sides for dinner, and it's good. Um, I found these, uh, Germacil. These are just the oil-free daily retinol facial cream. Um, it says it is enriched skin with intense moisture to leave it softer and smoother while relieving skin's dryness. My skin is really dry, especially my face, so... I figured I would try this out. Dermasil, you know, is a known brand. And I like buying brands at Dollar Tree that aren't, like, off brands. You know what I mean? So I feel like I'm getting a good deal since it's only a dollar. Uh, but this one is the Day Cream. And then I also got the um, Oil-Free Night Moisturizer Cream. Night Cream. So, I haven't tried these yet, but I plan to, so hopefully they are good. Um, hold on, I'm going to sniff one because I'm curious what it smells like. They smell really good. Just heads up. They smell great. So, got those. Um, I got this big old thing of Comet Lemon Fresh with Bleach Cleaner. My mom used to use this stuff, um... I've never used it before, but I've been noticing in our toilets getting like, um, I don't know if it's like hard water stains or whatever, like around the upper rim part. Um, and I, you know, scrub them out all the time with the cleaners that I have, but I don't know, I feel like it comes back really quickly, so I wanted to try something else, and I figured I'd try this on the toilets. Um, I guess you can use it on kitchen sinks, countertops, stoves, bathroom sinks, tubs, tiles, fixtures, toilet bowls, like whatever. Um, so that's a really big thing for a dollar. I don't know how much stuff, how much this retails for typically, but I thought it was a good deal. So I got that. And they also had, um, I think it was an Ajax one or something, but I got the Comet. I got a pack of these candies, and these are the Homestyle Candy Gluten-Free Toasted Coconut Macaroons. I love these things. They're really, really good. So, as you can see, I already opened them, and I ate one. My dad had one. They are so good. If you like coconut, you will love these things. So, I just want to show you guys one, like, up close and personal. Like, here we go. Look at that. Look at that gorgeousness. Doesn't that look so delicious? Oh my goodness, you guys. 
Do you hear that? Ah, yum, 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 yum. Okay, I'm gonna eat a piece. Mm. <laughs> I should have done that because now I'm chewing. <laughs> Hold on while I chew this. Okay, next thing I got were these pack of gel roller pens. And they have these ones with like glittery caps. And then they have another pack with I think a little bit different variations of color. And they did not have glitter caps. These I'm thinking might write glittery. I'm not sure. It doesn't really say. But... I was intrigued by the glitter on the packaging. So it comes with four different pens. They're by a brand called Pro Marks. Um, don't think I've ever gotten any pens by this brand before, so we're gonna test them out and see how they write. Um, pens that I've noticed getting at Dollar Tree are kind of hit or miss. Some work really well and I like and I, you know, repurchase. And other ones I hate and you know I never buy again so I'm just curious how these ones write because you know I don't know about you but sometimes like my handwriting is different with different utensils that I use um some pens when I write like my handwriting looks really really good and then other ones I use it's like I don't know like I'm a doctor or something it's horrible but these are what the pens look like you see how glittery the caps and stuff are so we are going to write with one and see. Oh wow, they write really, really nice. So there's the blue. Hopefully you can see that. I'll show it to you. Purple. Okay, the yellow is a little weird. Kind of looks a little orange. But they write really nice, and do you hear that sound, like, when you're writing? I don't know. Like, some pens, like, just have that, like, kind of scratchy, kind of rolly noise, and I love that when I'm writing. I don't know. It just must be, like, a thing that I like. But these do have a really pretty glittery sheen. Can you see that? Wow. Like, it's metallic. I love it. I love these pens. These are great pens. I definitely suggest these pens for anyone who is like into pens as much as I am. Even if you're not going back to school, you know, use for work, use around the house. Those are really pretty and they write really nice. So yeah, those are the pens. Um, the only other thing I have to show is something I got at the thrift store. Um, this was not from Dollar Tree. This Lip Smacker set. I repeat, was not from Dollar Tree, this was from the Goodwill. But I only paid 97 cents for it, so I figured I'd throw it in with this haul because I don't know what else I got at the thrift store when I purchased this. So, um, but it is, I think it was originally from like Target, you know. Goodwill usually gets Target's stuff in because they have more than one of these. But this is just a lip smacker set, it comes with a nail polish and a lip balm and the lip balm is in the flavor I think it was funnel cake the nail polish is called carnival I think hold on let me open the package Okay, I don't see a shade on the nail polish, but it is just a pink color. Just looks like that. It's a small, just a small tube. And I will swatch it for you guys. That's what the color looks like. So it's just a 
pretty pink color. Not a huge bottle, but I only paid 97 cents for it. And I mainly got it for the lip balm. The lip balm is in the flavor Funnel Cake. And I don't have this one. And I collect lip smackers, so I decided to get it. And it smells really good. It has a um, a sweet, cakey smell. And it's just like a clear... If you can see that. It's just like a clear, jelly-esque type lip balm. Yeah, it smells really good. I don't want to put any on because I plan on eating more of those coconut macaroons. I don't want to be licking lip balm off my lips. But anyway, that is my... Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time.